Recently, I can't stop thinking that how great is the invention of the stainless steel. My kitchen knives are always made of stainless steel. After using it, I just wash it by water or with detergent and put it on the drying rack. That's it. But what if you treat the Japanese sword with the same way? I have this question because almost all Japanese swords are made of steel, but not stainless steel. I'm sure it will easily get rusted, but why and how you clean it? Hi, this is Hito from Samurai Tavern. In this channel, we will share scientific knowledge of samurai culture and exciting facts related to traditional Japanese practice. If you are interested in learning Japanese culture one or two steps deeper, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more contents. To grow our community, we are aiming to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Thank Steel is made of iron with a little carbon that is used for many things such as scissors or blades. This product should be kept away from the water because the water accelerates the rusting process. That's the common sense. Uh, but we, EI practitioners, want to train cutting with Japanese swords. Uh, we sometimes cut bamboos or tatami mats which is soaked in the water. Maybe others even try to cut different things. But the problem is that those things we cut is wet. Moreover, we use water to wash the blade after cutting. So my question is, is it really a good way? Today, I'm going to discuss the way and conditions that you should be care of when you clean Japanese swords. I will explain scientific reasons of why the water is not good for Japanese swords. I will also discuss if the tap water can be used. In the last part, all of your questions will be clear. So please enjoy watching until the end. And be sure to understand the contents and prepare the best environment for cleaning up your swords. This theory is not only for Japanese swords, it can also be applied to any things that is made of steel. What is the best way to wash Japanese swords? First of all, I will show you the answer. Please put this in the water and clean up your swords. This is an ash and any kind of ash is okay. Since ancient time, somehow, Japanese sword sharpener uses ashes with the water when they polish the Japanese swords. This is very amazing because this is scientifically very reasonable and I think this is the best way even in modern era. I don't think the Asian people understand the scientific mechanism but they already know the way from their experience. Yeah. But why plain water is not good? We have to know the mechanism of why water can make the steel rust. There are two reasons. First is because water can stabilize the ionized iron. The ionization of iron is the first step of rusting. H2O can make a bond with ionized iron and can keep it as a stable form. Chemical reaction is always reversible. If the ionized form is more stable, the reaction will go faster toward the direction. But at the same time, iron can also receive the electron and become iron. The reaction goes both ways. But if the reaction to right happens with high possibility, the reaction looks as if it only goes to the right. Therefore, when the iron form is more stable, the reaction to the left is much difficult to happen. This is why water can accelerate the reaction to the right, because water stabilizes the ionized iron. And second reason is because the water can be a receiver of electron. If water stabilizes the iron iron, there is still not enough to make iron rust. There needs to be a receiver of electrons. Because if the electron is not received by anyone in this reaction, it comes back to Fe iron and the reaction goes to the left in the higher possibility. On the other hand, if electrons are received by someone, the reaction easily goes to the right. Something that receives electron is usually water and oxygen. Because oxygen exists in the air, a certain percentage of oxygen is always contained in water. When both O2 and H2O receives electron from iron, they will make hydroxide iron. 
This is the initial reaction of getting rust and how iron dissolved in the water. To summarize the reaction in one equation, it is like this. No matter how fast you remove the water and kept the source dry, more or less, this is what happened when you washed your source with plain water, such as river water. Before I answer about the ashes, let's think about the case of using the tap water. Why I'm talking about the tap water is because it is relatively easy to be prepared. Basically, under tap water, the same reaction occurs similar to plain water. But sometimes the situation gets worse for Japanese source because some tap water may include high amount of chloride. Chloride has a strong oxidation activity and that's used for killing bacteria or virus in the water. By the way, we can drink water from the tap directly, but it is not tastier than the purified water. Rusting equals to oxidation of iron. Uh, therefore, if there is chloride in the water, it strongly promotes the initiation of rusting with this formula. But don't worry, as I mentioned before, I'm sure ash can solve this problem. Finally, let's unveil the function of ashes. When I was young, I'm super curious about why ash remain, even if I burn things completely, because I thought every element can be burned and vanished in the air. As you know, the carbohydrate uh, will become water or uh, carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide and vaporize in the air, right? But what is the material that is not vaporized? Yeah, actually, if you have enough energy, and prepare certain condition, uh, you can also vaporize ashes. But normally ashes do not vaporize because ash includes metal oxides and it is very uh, fuge and heavy. So it is very hard to vaporize, not like carbon dioxide or water. This is why they remain in the ashes. And thanks to this, when we put the ashes in the water, it produces the excessive amount of hydroxide iron, which means the solution becomes high in pH or alkaline. This alkaline condition works pretty well when you wash Japanese source. In both reactions, as I explained before, the chemical reaction always go both directions. If the concentration of chemicals on the right side of the formula is high enough, reaction on the right can be minimized because the reaction to the left side will increase. By the way, not only ashes, you can also use the alkaline water. For example, you can put sodium hydrogen carbonate. It's relatively easy to be prepared. As a conclusion, we should avoid washing katana with plain water. We should use water added with ashes or something that makes the water alkaline and dry it thoroughly to prevent rusting. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you to understand the right way to wash your katana. See you in the next video.